all right guys what is going on welcome back to some more ball the gates 3 your name is if i about gym it has been a couple days since i played and uploaded yes it has and i do want to apologize about that just like i did last time super busy with work i've been working the late shift and the late shift you know i get home by like 1 or 2 a.m sometimes 3 and it's too late to record i'm just exhausted but i have time we're gonna play uh i feel like this session is going to be straightforward and I'm, I'm thinking if my face is shiny don't worry about it i just i just shaved my face and i put some neosporin on it you know to make it shiny and nice um so i feel like what i'm gonna do i'm gonna fight um gortash again and um no more illusions i forgot your name i i, I apologize let me let me go to here i know that you were saying that there's no real order to fight them in um orin or gortash but i feel like the way that you know i'm doing it and the way that it's been going i should just fight G gortash next i mean um G gortash next now you know so yeah no more illusions yeah yeah so i mean we'll see we'll see and it's lucky no more illusions. It is really lucky that I, I came down here from for weird reason with summons. You know, I was like, okay, if this is like a time thing, then I have to come down here with summons. Because if not, we're going to lose. And I got two people. Thankfully, Will could, you know, summon two things. But, man, it's I'm glad that I beat on the first try. I'm, I'm glad. But um, enough about me. You guys are amazing. Let's just keep going. See, because I feel like once we, once Will's dad comes back and we defeat Gortash, he'll take over and then maybe everyone in the city won't be mad at us, you know? I'll get to your camp. We'll talk there. Yes, father. We'll talk there. Will, you want to talk? Father will be waiting in camp. It's about time we talked. Mazora's in the camp too. Yo, when Mazora showed up once we freed Will's dad and he had like, what, 5 HP or something? I was like, I'm gonna lose this, and then and then I have to redo it all over again. I'll admit it. I was saying my prayers there. Thank the gods we made it out of Gortash's hellhole. Thank the gods, or thank me that we made it out. Jesus. I think I've had my fill of underwater misadventures. Misadventures. Let's get back to the surface world before any more perils seek us out. All right. Yes, ma'am. Um, did I speak to this guy? Hold on. Ogro! It's free! Free! Yes, you're free, my friend. Let's just speak to everyone down here before, because Aurelium is the last one to speak to. Can't wait to tell my spanner about all this. He'll never believe it. Okay, tell your spanner. My sincerest thanks, friend. I don't know what possessed you to find us in that place. But I am surely glad you did. You're welcome. Ah, Thindo Ventivere will never die! Thindo Ventivere will never die. Um, who's next? You're next. Still hurts. But thank you. You're welcome. It's... It's over, right? There's not more... Cutting. Thank you. Gone. Thank gone. I just I I can't thank you enough. I was certain that place was to be my cold wet tomb. You're welcome. You, you saved us. Saved us all. I thought it impossible, but but you did it. Because I'm the man. We were kept hostage to control our families in the Steel Watch Foundry. To keep them building Gortash's death machines. Please. They need to know what happened here. Nice. They have no reason to obey Gortash anymore. If they rebel, it'll put a dent in Gortash's steel might. How do you think I found you to begin with? Your father sent me. Oh, is her dad the blind one? He, he did. Of course he did. I knew it. I knew he would do something. Interesting. Thank you. 
Listen, lad. Zumbo Bumbo. Only a special sword could have done what you did. Thank you. You're welcome, Zumbo. What kind of name is that? My God, I'm glad you showed up. Sears Olsen. Hopefully, Frell's not too worried about me. Hmm. You were so heroic. My word. I can't wait to tell Scrove what happened. Gods, I hope he's all right. Who's Scrove? I'm not sure whose that is. Ma'am? What they were doing with us was horrid. Thank you for saving me. You're welcome. Oh. Featherweight Falson will be back in the ring in no time. Once my daughter Claw is freed. Where's she at? The hell? Oh, Yo, crazy. these names are crazy. Like one of them old hero stories. Thank you. Dido Oflin. All right, Aurelium. It's just you and me, buddy. What's up here? Nah, let's just speak to him. Your world's air. I never imagined missing its feeling on my skin. Curious. I owe you a great debt, son child. One I shall repay. When I return to the surface, I will alert my colleagues at the Society. Find me there, and I will offer you what aid I can against this evil. At the Society? What society is he talking about? <laughs> what? Okay. Now, where's that driver? He actually has to die. <gasps> Did that driver escape? I think we have to kill him for that mission. Oh, no. Uh-oh. You were to administer Umbali's justice. Uh oh. Instead, uh oh. You conspire with the abomination. Uh oh, I knew it. You who sicken the harbor with blood so black the sea itself chokes. Wait, 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 wait. Gods, they're not. You have to help me. Step out of the way. Protect him, and Umbali will swallow you whole. Okay, wait. He's all yours. I want. I want to rescue this man. You don't understand. He was responsible for destruction in the harbor. Okay, hold on. Cause I, I, just, I literally just spoke to everyone. <laughs> hold on. Cause we're not evil per se, but I don't have any feelings towards this guy or any like. Well, he did help us. Your lies won't save you. Give us the abomination or be counted as his ally. Can I persuade her? Oh, God. I really don't want to fight her. I'm, I'm sorry, bro. What? Mate, you've got to be kidding. Come quietly. The Sea Queen will judge you. I surrender, all right. You wouldn't hurt a harmless man, right? And you? Thanks for nothing, prick. Uh, dude, I'm dude. I'm not gonna listen. I'm not gonna fight her. You see how many of them it's there over. are? It's finally over. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I I'm so sorry, but I was not gonna fight her, guys. Mm -mm. Go to the still watch and inform them. Yes, yes. Retrieve Aurelium. Visit. Society of Brilliance. Is that still underground? I feel like that's still underground, right? Where's my companions at? Oh, we're still... Hold on. Ah. Submersible's broken. Can't seem to turn it on. What? Oh, they're just okay. Still breathing. Okay, let's get out of Despite here. Despite everything. What's up? Thank you again. Okay, so I use of course he's going to worry. 
Okay. What, Will? What? What? I failed. At what? The heart of the gate is dead. Oh, okay. We need to see my father. He should know what happened with Ansel. Hey, you. When he said the heart, uh, I was like, his dad just died? How? <laughs> Bro, I got so pissed. Um... Society of Brilliance. Is that underground, guys? I don't even know where this is. Show on map. Society of Brilliance. Or is that inside of Baldur's Gate? Because we haven't lowered that bridge yet. Oh, 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 that's right. Okay. Before, before we... I think Aurelium's in here somewhere. Yes, with these doors. Uh, gods, truly this petty. I don't think I've ever came in here before. Ah, you find yourself in the cradle of all knowledge relating to the Underdark, the Society of Brilliance. How did I never come in here? Isn't Tell me. What can the society do for you? Oh, wow. Oh. Yes. Dear Lady Esther, one of our most reliable contractors. Though, unfortunately, this particular request was too much even for her. I don't suppose you've stumbled across any Githyanki eggs during your travels. The society will compensate you for any we purchase, of course. Study it, of course. The Githyanki have been a source of great debate in the society circles in recent months. Wow. You are no doubt aware that citizens of the Underdark are held in great suspicion by those who live above ground. Many believe us to be evil. The Githyanki face similar prejudice. But I believe, if hatched in a less violent, more intellectually stimulating environment, the child can overcome its evil predisposition. I'm still not going to give it to you, but you know. I assume nothing. Hmm. Innate Githyanki cruelty is an established fact. No doubt you witnessed it yourself in the retreat. That's of because the they follow Glathic. When I have a suitable sample for my study, I will, however, prove that the effects of their biological inclination are. So he wants to study it, basically. Once out of the shell, I. The enforced repetition of sound, moral principle from the Paterian Code, alongside a series of psionic... I don't know what the hell you're saying. I can accelerate its growth. Yeah, this is a bunch I of nerd talk. Conclusive findings within a year or two. A series of moral imperatives bestowed by the great dragon deity. But in my years of study, they're the closest I found to moral perfection. My findings could change the perception of Githyanki and the peoples of the Underdark. If the child remains evil after the experiment hmm. is concluded, it will be destroyed. If Lysel was that here, Lysel would kill him. Lysel would have killed him. Now, I'm eager to get started. So will you sell me the egg? 
No. Then I will source another subject, and the progress may be delayed, but. Hmm. There's a lot of stuff in here, but I don't want to steal anything. Hold on. Do I need these summons still? If if I'm gonna fight Gortash, I'll leave the summons. Well met. I am the society's leading expert on my college sport telepathy. Telepathy. Why he sound like that? What the hell? Run out of spores, you see. Okay. I miss them, those Myconid spores. Uh, don't feed. What the hell is wrong with you, bro? Can't believe I never came up here. That's crazy. Oh, William's right there. I thought he was waving to us. I was like, oh, that's cool. So much underdark strife comes from vying for scarce minerals. I seek to invent new, easier ways to find such or mm. I adopt the illusory appearance of someone else. You, for example. Once I publish my paper, proving that it's just hyena mite infections that make Noel so angry, I'll be famous. Hmm. Omeloum tells me I have you to thank for its safe return. We know the risks when we go out into the field, but to lose my friend in such a way would have been most disheartening. Reason I bad in fact you wishes can be for my cause. If there's any conclusion to be drawn from this, oh, Carlac approves. Omeloum and I are safest back in the underdark. Maybe maybe Our they could save Carlac. Continue. We may not be able to fight on the front lines as you do, but we may yet do some good for those who call it home. We'll depart when this absolute army is defeated. I understand you are involved in the matter. New allies. We will not let you leave empty handed, though. Make sure you speak to Omeluam before you leave. Nice, thank you. Ah. Uh... I have enough money. He doesn't really have anything I need. If I speak to Aurelium, let's see. Omelium. Indeed, I find I now have an. It is pleasurable to see you. Wow. Your intervention within the cult's underwater complex was a timely one. I am glad my carelessness did not cost the life of Duke Ravenguard. That you also saved me was unexpected. I rather like you. Okay, why were you there in the first? Yeah, let me say that first. My meeting with you led me to a most unsettling conclusion. That my kind had begun to exert influence through this cult of the absolute i felt illicit interference would not be conducive to this plane's survival i sought out other infected individuals to ascertain the truth of my hypothesis hmm. unfortunately i strayed too close i was captured and transported to the prison in which you found me there I saw Gortash and his followers inflict cruelties far beyond any I witnessed in the Underdark. I am grateful that you were spared such a merciless fate. He's gonna die, so it's okay. Gratitude won't help keep a roof over my head. I too feel some warmth at your presence. You're my bro. Your inclination to generosity is an admirable quality, one I wish to reciprocate. Blurg and I have consulted on the matter of your reward. 
We first thought to ask the denizens of the Underdark for their aid in fighting the cult. Alas, our influence there remains negligible. Instead, we have selected a series of items from the society's vaults. Oh, gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Given my kind's involvement in creating this evil, it is only right that I do my part in helping you defeat it. Or at least, improving your odds. What do you give us? Oh, I'm curious. It is best I do not interfere further with events. All right, O'Melium. O'Melium. Jesus Christ, I can never pronounce his name right. Okay, so that's that's that. We're done with this. I want to go see if they're killing him. No, not the counting house. It's this. And we have to go over here anyways. Then talking to Will's dad will be last. And then um, off camera, I'll kill Gortash again. And then once we come back, hopefully it's a, I don't know. It's just a straight shot to Orin afterwards. Please head inside. Don't let me keep you. Hmm. Cause see, I, I would have to fight all of them, and I don't want to fight all of them. We literally, I don't really want to fight in this episode that much. Oh, they're about to do it. Okay, they're about to sacrifice that dude. Let me save it real quick. The Wave Mother has righteously avenged our sister. Hmm. Has she now? Umberly will surely watch over you after what you did for her. Will she now? May you too feel Umberly's. Will I now? <laughs> will I feel it one day? I probably got to talk to her last. Finally, some peace and quiet. <laughs> it was a lovely ceremony, wasn't it? <laughs> she was tired of their singing. All right, let's see what's up with this one. You tamed the Beastmaster. We thank you, friend. You're welcome. I could loot her body. I probably shouldn't do that. You know what I still don't have? A shovel. I don't know what I, I don't remember what I did with my shovel if I sold it. Hey, we're cool. You'd better have a very good offering in hand if you're being this much of a pain. I listen. I'm awesome now, so they let me through. Done the bitch queen's house a great deed. A bitch, what? I pray that when you die, your lungs are blessed with her salted kisses. Why'd you call her the bitch queen? May the wave mother grant you her favor, or at least spare you her wrath. May the wave mother. Why, why, why did she call her the bitch queen? Before I shock you like a noise. Wow. Okay. Yeah, guys, I did not want to fight them. I'm still curious as to what's under here, but not that curious enough to fight them. So, no. This episode is pure plot. No fighting. I hope.
Oh, we are gonna have to fight this one guy, right? Once we blow up this area. Wilbur. Oh, I just remembered. Shit. Yeah, Wilburn won't be happy. <gasps> Wait a minute. We have your designs. We have your methods. We... You have beaten and tormented us to the brink of insanity. You cut out my eyes. Gondians! Rip the motivator from this bastard's hands! For Gond! It's just one guy? There's two of them. I literally said I, we were not gonna fight. I just said we were not gonna fight in this episode. Now look. Ah, oh, Jesus. I hear a robot. Where is it? This is Will. I could have dashed in here with Carly. Handy. Nice. Nice. One more. Prince's motivation sequence activated. Talk to me. I have to reach this in the next turn, right? Um, let's dash. Have to keep going. Dude, you're blocking. I hope it doesn't get activated. Um, I hope it does not get activated. Survival is all that matters. Can I reach it? Oh, I can't misty step either. Shit. Will I have a misty step scroll? No, she used the last one that I had. Damn. Will this deactivate it? Nope. Thought it would. With haste. I hope. Really? I still can't reach it, bro? There you go. But I'm not out of the wilds just yet. I want this madness to end. Hold on, I'll speak to him in one second. 
Oh, Olsen. And my cat. So that's his wife. Seriously, we're invincible. Listen, if they could bleed, they're not invincible. Remember that. Remember that. All right, let's be tired. To Obelia, is she sick? Yes, <sighs> my heart. I thought her lost. I would give more than just my sight to keep her safe. Our destination is the Neurositor, the nerve center of the Steel Watch. Guide me there, and I'll do the rest. I don't need you. I have a gunpowder bomb. Won't that do the trick? Your bomb will most certainly do the trick. Place it directly on the Neurositor, and then run like every fiend of the Nine Hells snaps at your heels. Nice. Are we doing it now? Oh, okay. Yo, leave. The Iron Throne is no more. Let my wife be safe. I'll do it. The Iron Throne is... Oh, God. Tubin thinks you can do it. That you're the one... I mean, I'm gonna go do it, but they need to leave so I can blow it up. Oh, you know what? This takes me straight down there. Just thought about it. Get in, everyone. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Okay, let's go. I hope there's no more enemies. Thank you, God. I wonder if I shouldn't have um, came here yet. What does it say? I already did. It's weird. Why does that say that? Explore the deaths. Why does it say that? It says up. Is there a way to go higher than this? No, this is it. I'm not sure why it says this, but... Neurositor awaits your input. This will destroy the foundry, wiping it from the face of the Forgotten Realms. I think I remember there would be a cutscene playing. Yep. Okay. I hope they all got out. I'll be pissed if not, and I'll be like, oh well. <laughs> wow.
Are we good? Is that people dying? Three new updates. That was a hell of a show, my friend. Oh, they escaped. Watchers collapse in the street as we speak. And the foundry. The scent of rune powder drifts through the city like a warm embrace. I see my bond did the trick, but it's not over. So long as a single parasitic... Oh yeah, we have remains, to... Baldur's Gate is under threat. Enough, Walbrun. Gortash enslaved us, forced us to build his steel watches, but no more. Take the city. Let the Iron Hands reign supreme. I just wish to go home and hold my daughter. Please. <laughs> if a Gondian told me the sky was blue, I'd look outside and check. Hmm. You Gondians will lie scheme and torment this city until your dying breaths let's end this Wolverine enough I won't watch as you poison your soul and the brilliant future that remains to the Iron Hand gnomes I thought the Iron Hand gnomes had corrupted you Wolverine now I wonder if it wasn't the other way around Kill the Gondians, and you kill all we love. Collaboration, challenge, solving problems with the power of reason, creativity, and invention. He has a point. I still want to believe you're better than that, Wolbrin. But even I am having my doubts. Yeah. Bye bye, Wolverine. I say, I say you're right. They deserve a leader who will encourage them to create, not destroy. They deserve someone like me. Hmm. I can't save you from yourself, Wolverine. It hurts terribly, but I can't. Toss your values in the bin if you want. But don't throw out the Iron Hands with them. This is ridiculous. Iron Hands. Kill this man. They're not going to do it. How dare you. Cowards. The Gondians recognize Barkus Root as leader of the Iron Hand Gnomes. And look forward to ushering in a new peace between our factions. It is with a heavy heart that I remove Walbrin Bongle from our ranks. You have until first light to leave the city. Walbrin. I'm gonna kill him now. I expect treachery from all sides, but you, little Barkus, the boy who followed me from the Underdark, who clung to me like moss to stone, when we next meet. My hammer will cleave your hmm. skull in two, and that is a promise. Hold on, before he leaves, before he leaves, before he leaves, before he leaves, my magic is gonna cleave his skull in two. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Your actions have not gone on. No, I'm sorry. Oops. Well, Wilburn just disappeared. I guess we're friends again. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, here we are. I take no pleasure in ousting Wilburn. But he's not the old friend I remember. When did he get so angry? So violent. Power Someone will do like that, that too. cannot lead the Iron Hand gnomes. We need peace. Thank you for your encouragement. I needed it. Hmm. 
and have done since the day we met. I may have lost Waldron, but I found a far preferable ally. <sighs> Friend, even. Now, uh, myself and the Iron Hand Gnomes have much to disentangle. But when you're ready to face what's waiting for you... Yes. Believe me, we will be at your side. <clears throat> uh, um, shoo, then. For now. My friend. Did he just shoo me like a dog? Motherfucker, you shoo. Where's all the other Iron Hand Gnomes? I think... It is past time Obelia and I left this city. There is nothing for us here now. Cool. I stand when so many have died. I thank you for what you have done for us. But I fear the Gondi... Okay. I saw that the other guy was free, so I, I think the Guardians are saved. Right? We decided not to accept Ghost's proposition. His children still watch Iron. Still watches on the same. Make attack easy target. Uh, we dock at Ghost's secret base. The Iron Throne. He warned us. This ends. Nice. That's fine. Ruber wanted us to kill the remaining Gandhi, but refused. He storms off, promising revenge. We said the guns without bloodshed by the. Perfect. Alright, all that's left is to just go speak to Wolf's dad. There is an area, though, over here that we couldn't come to because it still watches. We're blocking it. Let's keep your hands. Wow. What is over here? There's also an area over here where there was like a bunch of still watches eat too. I'll probably check that um, off camera. <sighs> Time to speak to father. I wonder what he's going to say to Will. Another letter from Orin. Thank you, the tyrant's iron throne lies broken beneath the bay and the prisoners are held nothing but blood in the farm. Fishmen will find succulents around to the fashion communities. You saw the seeds of chaos well, how the sheep both guided around. Now it's time with all this medalists. What, mannequins? Gortash is weak. Kill, kill, kill him, kill him. Yeah, we're gonna kill him. Don't worry. He must die. How can I help? You have nothing to say to me after all we just did? Uh, my you have nothing to say to me either? Okay. Where's Pops at? Missouri, you have something to say? Ready and waiting. Let's do it. First you cleave my heart in twain, now you shatter it to pieces. My son a monster. Twist it beyond recognition. To think my blood flows through those veins. Jesus. Is this my fate? To be freed from Gortash's hell, only to be trapped in yours? It isn't what you think. It never was. You turned your back on me, on your city. To chase the she-devil and her power. She stinks up the place even now. She's right behind you. It is exactly what I think. You also sacrificed his soul to save yours. He had no choice. Will devoted his life to protecting the coast. He used his powers wisely. Yeah. Raven God's tadpole clenches. As your memories and wills flow into him. My tears wills. I'm in your mind. <laughs> Don't say it like Duke that. The sees Mizora and her infernal sisters. 
He sees the agony in Will's face as an impossible choice is set before him. No. My son. The past becomes present, and Will's thoughts are laid bare. Raven Guard sees Will partnering with Mazura to defeat Tiamat's cultists before they could lay siege to Baldur's Gate, and he sees everything beyond. The Nautiloid journey, the perilous path to Moonrise, the astral prism. Damn, he sees everything. And the Emperor within. Will. Everything I did, I did for Baldur's Gate. I did for you. Let me say nothing. My son. You sold your soul to save Baldur's Gate. And I cast you out for it. You gave yourself to the Hell's eternal fire so I might walk free. By the gods. Can you ever forgive me? Of course. There's nothing to forgive. You wanted to protect the city. I only ever wanted the same. You are a better man than most. And a better son than I deserve. I'll yet make amends, but... But? My duty is first and foremost to the city and its people. There's something I must ask of you. Before I was captured, I was on a mission. Returning from Elterel, I discovered the plans of the Absolutists. I immediately realized the city couldn't defend itself against such an army. I didn't despair. Because the city has a secret guardian. Uh-oh. A worm uh -oh. that sleeps beneath. Uh-oh. He can be called upon in times of great need. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is such a time. You've been trained in the ways of the great champions uh, and proven to that, be one of them. That dad? The worm will answer your call. D uh, uh, dad? You uh, must seek him out. Uh, uh, Do you mean uh, answer? Yeah. The worm is dead, father. Yeah. Where we might have once found a friend, we found only his bones animated by an old grievance. But the heart of the gate still lives in me, in my allies. In Ansu's defeat, I found my spirit renewed. Once I've vanquished the Absolute, I will walk in your footsteps and lead the city as a Grand Duke. I am Will Ravenguard, son of Alda. My son. Together there is no army we cannot conquer, and no wrong we cannot right. I love it. This is a great Hail ending. Duke Will Ravenguard. Yo, hell, Duke Will Ravenguard. I love it. I love it. Ten out of ten. Ten out of fucking ten. Together, Will and I will make Baldur's Gate the brightest gem aside the sword sea. The heart of the gate hells for it. While the Absolute commanded my mind, I condemned her to death and confined her in Worm's Rock prison. She's freed. She stood by me even as the hell's fires lapped at my feet. You must free her. She's free already. Tremendous news. She proves as loyal to you as she is to me. I couldn't bear it if she died by my command. May the triad guide her steps. I was returning from Elturel. My traveling party stopped at an inn, Joaquin's Rest. Yep, we've been there. Our heads. We've been there. It wasn't the heat that woke me. It was the scent. Cultists had set fire to the place. I don't remember being taken. Just the smoke burning my throat before I fell. Wow. I awoke in Moonrise Towers, inside one of those damnable pods. The rest, well, the rest goes without saying. Hmm. <sighs> A complicated one. I went to greet Elturel's High Overseer. Only for the Archdevil Zario to drag the city into the hells. I have been touched by Avernus. Been a plaything for demons. A tale for other places. Oh. Other days, 
Yo, Will's dad seen some shit. Yo, we need to have like a little bonfire thing and Will's dad need, needs to tell us hella stories. Nice. Hell. I love him. You, you're, you, Helsin, get the fuck out of my party. Helsin, leave. Helsin, leave. We need Will's dad. Almost pleasant traveling with company. Let's talk. Played at the ready. Hail. Really? Whatever comes, I'm ready. Just hail? Hmm. Shadowheart. May Saluna guide you as always, my daughter. Better in a sense. But you may need to prepare yourself, daughter. Shard took a great deal from me, and time will eventually take the rest. Sooner than you or your father would like, perhaps. I... I knew this, even when I first fell for your father. He is destined to outlive me. Wow. As are you. Shed no tears. We've been blessed with a second chance, and who is to say how long we'll have? More than I ever hoped for, certainly. Damn, this was we sad. Must not live in fear of loss. That is not truly living. That's so sad, bro. Just one. Take care of yourself. I know you have more struggles yet to come out there. But I do not want to lose my daughter so soon after I found her again. Only you can say. It seems your father and I have returned to a world in turmoil. And I sense you have a part to play in writing things. Yes, mother, I do. We shall remain here at camp and continue to recover what strength we can. Then, perhaps, when all is said and done, we can be a family again. Todd, that's so that yo talking to mom just made me sad. Wow. Jenna. I mean Shadowheart. Pardon. It warms my heart to see you. Look at her eyes. I had promised you we would catch up once I'd rested. Perhaps there's something you wish to ask about? Oh my lord. Let's do it. You were to come of age that night, left alone in the woods and using only Saluna's guidance to find your way back to us. But you were not alone in the woods. We caught a shower and spy near our village and learned that his accomplices sought to abduct you. I had to find you, to bring you home, and I had to do it quickly. In my haste, I made a terrible mistake. I took on my wolf form to cover the ground more quickly, and it worked. I followed your scent and reached you before the Sharans could. But when I found you, you did not see your father rushing to save you. Uh, you only saw a wolf hunting you in the darkness. He never told her. I should have told you of my curse before that night. And then everything would have been different. You panicked, and before I could explain, the Sharans found us. Father and daughter, wolf and prey. Wow. They took us both. When I awakened, you were gone. But your mother was with me. They were spiriting us away to the city, hidden and bound. That should have been the day you came of age and into the Moon Maiden's teachings. Instead, the Sharans used us to teach you different lessons painful lessons i mean she's strong so it's all right the moon maiden's blessings are many she taught me to control the curse but she could not teach me to control my paternal instincts the failing was mine you must not blame yourself what is up with will's dad child your mother and I were supposed to protect you. We grew complacent, underestimated the depths of Shah's bitterness, 
the fanaticism of her followers. But perhaps this was always meant to be. Perhaps the Moon Maiden's path was merely longer for you than we knew. Hmm. A name is nothing. Your happiness is what matters. Just forgive your father the occasional slip of the tongue. Hmm. I will adapt, given time. Oh, well, it depends, sir. Uh, do you find yourself more hirsute at certain times? It Craving warm flesh? Uh, actually, no. Spare your father the answer. <laughs> Sparing. I am a lycanthrope, but your mother is not. It was a toss of the coin to determine if you inherited that side of me. Oh. If you have not changed after all this time, I believe you're safe. That would be cool. So if they had another kid. I've heard enough about this absolute threat to understand it cannot be ignored. Your mother and I can wait until you prevail. And I know you will. Beyond that, your mother will need my care. And yours, too, if you wish to join us. Somewhere quiet, close to nature. Where the sun can warm us. And the moon can watch over us as we sleep. Are you sure, Shadowheart? Picking at old wounds may not serve any purpose. Very well. But I shall not wallow in ugly details. That is what they would have wanted. To have let their physical torments live on in our spirits. I will not allow that. They had you use us for practice. Wow. All the techniques that the Sharans held pride in. Trickery, interrogation, torture. They even had you, our own daughter, try to convert us. So, do so those are the two that she... The worst part was not anything you did to us. It is what they had done to you. You didn't recognize us. Wow. Those eyes I had wiped tears from. Now looked at me like a stranger. I... I feared I would give in then. But your mother's strength bolstered me. She never gave up calling you daughter, no matter what you said or did. We were still a family in that room. Suffering. Enduring. Damn, this is sad, we did bro. not give up. Your mother and I swore... We would see the look of recognition in your eyes once again. And we did. Don't be. Knowing you were out there gave us the strength to hold on. And you returned to us just like you were supposed to all that time Yo, ago. Yo, being evil is going to kill my soul. Knowing you were out there still was enough to sustain us and you are stronger than us both daughter we merely had to endure you had to choose your path one that brought you back to us at last being evil is gonna crush my soul both. they mocked you before our eyes they said it would discipline you for straying while extending our torment also not just with the pain but with the knowledge that every time we felt it, your true self was being punished for trying to break through their indoctrination. Yes. Now you know all that is worth knowing. Let us put this behind us for good. Wow. To Shadow, I, I think Shadowheart has one of the saddest stories in the game. At least things have stayed interesting. My God, man, that is so fucking sad. Wow. Uh, long rest. Yes. Um. Do I need to speak with anyone? Let's talk. No, I don't think so. All's well, I hope. Yes, Let me just see if they're gonna say, "Oh, Missouri, do you have anything to say about Wolf's dad?" Ready and waiting. Mm.
Speak. Okay, I guess they don't care about Will's dad. All right, let's go ahead and let's save it up. And then when we come back, um, I'm going to have defeated Lord Gortash. Hopefully there's some type. What's going on? Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and fight Lord, Lord Gortash right now off camera. All of our summons left. Who should I take? Obviously, Karlak. Shadowheart and Will. Yeah, I'll keep this party. All right, I'll see you guys later. Peace.